Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going to be working on the TW200. We need to do an oil change. I purchased this bike a little over a month ago and I have no idea when the last time the oil change was. So that's what we're doing. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always get to have your back. If you've been following this series, it's where I have been building out my TW200. Now this bike is going to be a recovery bike for me. And what I mean by recovery is, well, I'm gonna be doing some off-road camping. And off-road camping with a camper, which doesn't seem smart. It seems like I could get stuck, and that's why I'm having this. This will be attached to the back of my camper. Now, if I get stuck in my truck with the camper behind us, I need something to get, or well, I need some help to go find help. So I'll be able to detach this and go find some help. So if you haven't seen any one of those videos, be sure to check them out. Descriptions below of all the series of what I've done to build out this TW200. But today we're gonna go over doing an oil change. Pretty simple process here tiny little engine so let's jump right into it so guys on top of doing the oil change today while I'm at it I'm going to replace the stock skid plate with something much more beefier and then I'm also going to be changing the spark plug my cousin uncle as I call him he's my dad's cousin but he's the age of my dad so I call him my cousin uncle has always recommended Prolong. He used to be a motorcycle mechanic down in South Africa I've never used this uh, so I'm gonna Try some of this. So I've already let the bike run a bit. The engine's nice and warm. Now let's drain the oil and get this process started. All right guys, the oil drain plug is right here. I've got my nifty oil catching pan, uh, Jimmy rig to stay. So let's undo that. All right, so what you're gonna need is a 19 millimeter wrench ratchet or whatever you want to do that's in 19 millimeters and remove the drain plug. Jesus. I think whoever had this bike before me rarely liked to over tighten things. What I also like to do is uh, open up the fill area, that way there's some air helping it flow out. I guess a smart thing would have been to remove the skid plate, but you know, I do things my way. All right, now that most of that oil is out, you're gonna wanna wipe down the plug. Um, I'm not replacing any gaskets, they all seem to be fine. Um, and then you wanna check your filter here and your spring, see if it's all clogged up. And I've seen people clean these with brake cleaner, so if you wanna do that, if yours looks a bit dirty, Go ahead and spray it down. Uh, mine looks uh, relatively clean, so I'm gonna leave it as that. I'm gonna let this uh, drain out for about another minute now, and then I'm going to close it all back up and remove that skid plate. All right, with most of the oil out, I'm gonna remove my oil pan, keep a rag under here for all the residual, and then reinstall the spring and the drain plug. Now that that's all back together, let's remove this uh, skid plate so we can see how to install the new one. Alright, so that's just one simple 10 millimeter nut and then it hooks onto the back. So, pretty simple. I'm going to put this to the side and grab the new one. Okay, I don't know who makes the skid plates, but uh, the instructions are horrible. Like, what, what the heck? <laughs> I get it, you're trying to do it on a piece of paper here, but come on, just put it all on one piece of paper. Before we start, I just added a strap here as I need to take the bike off the stand because it gets in the way of the skid plate. So I've done that. Let's get the stand out of here, and then we'll start the skid plate install. Now with that out of the way, 
The install is pretty straightforward. You have to remove this lower engine mount bolt, replace it with this bolt while attaching the skid plate mounts. And then on the rear, these two go over the frame here and then bolt straight through to the skid plate. Straightforward install, so let's get to it. Alrighty, now that that's done, you want to take the new engine mount bolt and 1L bracket and stick it through the hole where it came from. You may need to uh, ratchet it in the hole. Now that that's through, let's put the other L bracket on the other side and loosely tighten the nut. Now that that's loosely tightened, you want to make sure these L brackets line up with your holes here. And they do. And then you want to find the location in the rear. You may have to tap the original rear mount up, bend it up a bit, so these brackets will fit. With that out of the way, let's see if it fits now. Alright, now that those are in place, let's loosely tighten all these bolts, see if it's all positioned correctly, and then tighten it down. Now that everything is loosely tightened, you want to make sure there's nothing going to be chafing, there's nothing in the way, make sure it's all in the right place, and then you want to tighten everything down. The rear are Torx head bolts, and the reason for that is they are rounded head bolts so they don't get caught on any rocks. That's the whole point of the skid plate. If you need to use it to go over rocks, you can leave it on here and just slide it off. But that's why they're Torx. So let's torque them down. Now that's all tightened down, give it a little wiggle, make sure it's not rattling, because then it is done. Much better than the stock one. Now that that's done, let's go to the other side of the bike and fill it up with some oil. All right, so before we top it up with some oil, let's remove the oil filter cap and then replace the oil filter. You wanna start with this bottom one. This is apparently a drain plug as well for any excess oil. So I'm just gonna put a rag under here. Most of the oil, if not all of it, is drained out. I just don't wanna get the oil pan on this side. All right, I was 100% wrong. There is some oil. So while that's catching, let's remove the other bolts. Now these are uh, two different. This apparently is a long bolt and this is a shorter one. So be sure you just remember that. Check your oil ring to make sure it's all good. All looks good there. I'm gonna remove this. Now that the oil filter's removed, I'm just gonna clean up this area a little bit. Wipe inside out. Don't wipe outside in. That way, if you have contaminants, uh, they won't get in here. I'm just reviewing the oil filter here. Definitely some contaminants. So, that's good that it did a job. So now let's install the new oil filter. The oil filter goes with the, this side in. Um, what you always do when you do an oil change, obviously, is you just wet up the gaskets a little. That way they have a better way to seal. And there we go. Now let's install. Clean up all the oil, and these are meant to be torqued at 10 Newton meters each. Now that that's done, we want to replace the spark plug. So let's jump into that real quick. All right, here's the spark plug. Now the spark plug gap uh, I've read is 0 0.024 to 0 0.028. So here's my gauge. It goes up to 0 0.024. And yep, it's nice there. So that's perfect. Now let's remove the old one and install the new one. If you're using anything electric like me, don't tighten it with electric. Uh, you can speed it up to be tightened and then you just uh, hand crank it. Now let's put that back on and we are good to go there. Now for some oil. Now owner's manual says 1.1 liters of oil. I'm gonna put one liter of oil in and then I'm gonna do the point one with this prolong. 
All right, so that's one liter down. Now let's just top it up with a little bit of Prolong, seal it up and start up the engine. Since this is little, I'm just gonna dip it in right here. All righty, let's start up the engine and check out the oil level. All righty guys, with the engine that has been running, you can see the oil level, oh, I don't know if you can. Uh, I'm sure you can. The oil level is exactly where it needs to be. So guys, as you can see, that was a simple, easy job, both the oil change and the skid plate. So thanks a lot for tuning in. If you enjoyed what you saw or you found it helpful, please leave me a subscribe and a thumbs up. But until next time, I'll see you then.